Hi, welcome to PSC. I'm Jared Elwine, and today we're going to talk about the top four new features of Business Objects BI 4.0. As we've held some of our user groups, we've been asking the audience after we do the demo of BI 4.0, what are some of the new features that you really like? And these are the results that we got back. Number one, multiple databases in universes. So with these multiple databases within the universes now, we're able to be able to pull multiple data sources into a single universe, which it's something they had been asked for for a really long time. Nice new feature, a lot of uh, new functionality within the universe layer which hasn't been updated for well over a decade. Number two, the new charting engine. Some charts had started to get a little old, a little weary, they wanted a lot of features and functionality in web intelligence charts, and users were starting to get really frustrated. So what SAP has done is now they've taken and they've expanded out the charting engine. It's the same charting engine across multiple tools. So now whether you're in Crystal, Web Intelligence, Explorer, or Dashboards, the old Excelsius, you can now see the same charts in those various tools, as well as the ability to have many more new charts and many new features and functions within the existing charts. So this is very exciting to a lot of people who like to visualize the data that they're seeing on the reports. Number three, Webby copy and paste. So now what we're able to do is take the objects out of one Webby report, copy it, and paste it into another Webby report. So if you've got a chart, one of those new charts that we've created, you spent a lot of time formatting it, you can now copy and paste it from one report to another. Or if you've got a big presentation coming up and you want to copy that chart into an office document, like a PowerPoint presentation, you can copy and paste it, even using the keyboard shortcuts. Number four is Webby Data Preview. So previously when we're developing these web intelligence reports, we would go through and if you wanted to see the data, if you needed to manipulate the, to figure out what kind of data is there, you'd actually have to almost create another tab on the bottom of the report just to display all the data objects. Now as you're creating the query, you can preview the data. So you can take a look, see what kind of information is in a particular field if you're not as familiar with this universe. Or once you're in the report, you have the ability to go preview the data, you can sort it, you can filter it, and you can just kind of mess around within the data itself. Make sure you've got the data elements you're interested in before you place them on the report and have to spend a lot of time refreshing that report. These are the top four new features according to our results. What's your favorite information? Come on out to our website, www.peopleservices.biz, and let us know. Thanks.